Her Majesty the Queen does the honours. <laughs> Reopening a museum telling the story of a regiment she shares a strong connection to. The Queen was appointed Colonel-in-Chief of the Argyll and Sutherland Highlanders on her 21st birthday and was one of the first to get a look round the revamped Regimental Museum as it opens its doors for the first time in three years. It's fantastic after nine years of work of putting together the plan and actually then delivering it um, to have the Queen, our Colonel-in-Chief, come round and see it uh, was really very, very special. Housed in one of Stirling Castle's oldest surviving buildings, the museum contains more than 5,000 artefacts telling the rich history of this proud fighting unit. The Queen spoke with some of those who've helped with its multi-million pound renovation over the past few years. New multimedia and interactive exhibits have been added, alongside new displays focusing on life away from combat. While staying true to the story of the Argyles, we wanted to engage more on the, uh, the social aspects so that communities that the soldiers came from, the families, experiences of children, of soldiers, wives, when the regiment was posted overseas, and really how the military in Scotland and the Argyles in particular interface with the communities that they, they came from. Some members of the regiment, which was amalgamated into the Royal Regiment of Scotland 15 years ago, were also there to see the reopening. The museum closed its doors in 2018 ahead of the renovation work. And to have it open once again to tell their story is important to them. I come here and I look at the castle and I go up into that museum and I see footage from 1972, 1973 and it's all my friends that's on and a lot of these friends are gone. And all the acts that all these guys did, people, young soldiers now can come and see them and be proud of them. It's been a long way to open in, I mean we've raised a lot of money through different ventures and uh, everything just to, just to get the museum. It has a lot of bearing for older girls now, mainly because the, the, the regiment itself doesn't exist anymore, so this is the only thing we have is a, a bit to tell our story. Years of hard work has gone into getting this museum ready for its reopening day. To tell the story of those who've proudly served this historic regiment. And now that it's open once more after three years, everyone is looking forward to welcoming the visitors back through the door. Hey! 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 David Civils McCann, Forces News, Stirling Castle. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to our channel.